Are you excitable? Are you excitable? Are you excitable? Are you excitable? It's a, a real uh, thrill for all of us. Richard Zednick nominated as uh, Rookie of the Year, and uh, it's well deserved. And what he's done for our club is exactly what we wanted him to do and what we were looking for for some of the young players. We needed to inject some speed and some offense into our lineup, and he's been able to come in and do it. He's been banged up lately, and we sure miss him, but he's scored 17 goals so far to, to lead all rookies and probably worth six to eight points in the standings for us right now, which is huge. Well, Zed uh, brings a lot of speed to our game. I mean, uh, you know, he can really play up and down the ice, and when he gets the puck, he's a real threat. Uh, also has a great shot, and, uh, you know, he's only going to get better and better, and, you know, hopefully he can uh, progress the way uh, Peter Bonder, I've seen Peter Bonder pro progress since he's been here, and uh, if he can do that, uh, it'd be quite an accomplishment. Well, yeah, he's a uh, really, really good, uh, strong skater. I mean, he's uh, uh, he's fast. I mean, and uh, he can shoot. And he's uh, for his age, whole package already. I mean, he's uh, he can play national hockey league right away. And uh, when he came over, and uh, he's really strong. And uh, hopefully, we'll get better. And uh, he's one of the best rookies uh, this year. Well, I think uh, Richard's been one of the most consistent rookies in the whole NHL. He, he started the season very strong. He's been consistent every single month. A lot of the other rookies in the league have uh, gotten hot for a month, uh, cold, hot, cold, but I think Richard's been one of the integral parts of our lineup. He's third in our team in goals, and I think that's, uh, that just tells you enough right there. Well, you know, it's a great honor, you know. We nominated uh, Rookie of the Year in NHL, you know, and uh, with those guys, uh, like lots of young guys, like Samson or Elias, Johnson, you know. And, uh, they're great players, and I, uh, I'm part of the this nomination, you know. So it's really honor for me, you know. I 
so far, you know, I think uh, I was a pretty good year for me, you know, I scored a few goals, you know, and I was, you know, like, pretty good for me. And uh, first half season, you know, it was like more, you know, offense, you know, and but now, you know, it's coming players, you know, and for, it's tougher, you know, for young players, you have to play a defense and everything, you know, but I'm still playing and I'm happy, you know, I'm playing, I got uh, ice time, you know, and uh, I think it's pretty good for me, you know, this, this season. I can say in uh, one word, uh, describe my first year in Washington Capital, I would say it was a great year for me. It's, it's a great honor for me, you know, be nominated the rookie of the year, you know, like, was before the season, if somebody told me you're going to be uh, uh, nominated for rookie of the year, I just never believed it, but uh, it's great, you know, I'm happy. Brian Bellows adds veteran leadership to our team. He's a, a guy that players can watch and learn a lot from. He's not afraid to pay a price to score a goal. He takes the puck from the corner to the front of the net. He wins battles in front. And the experience that he's gained along the way, I don't think there's a situation that he hasn't experienced. So he's going to be able to help a lot of our younger players and also the older players who haven't had any success in the playoffs. Uh, he's going to help them along and, and show them the way. Well, Brian's played, you know, played a long time in this league, and he scored a lot of goals and uh, very solid playoffs throughout his career. And uh, I think we're looking for the leadership and a solid player in the playoffs. I mean, great player, you know, like uh, veteran. Uh, he knows uh, what it takes uh, uh, and how to uh, score. You know, uh, he goes in it hard. Uh, he paid the price, and uh, he's very good on the power play. Brian Bellows, he, he's been a natural goal scorer for years in the National Hockey League and uh, he proved it right away with us that he, that he has a nose for the net and he can bury him and, uh, and that's what we need. Well, uh, from an uh, on, on ice standpoint, uh, he's a strong guy that parks himself in front of the net. So when a guy like Oates tries to find a guy in front, He's there and he's, he's tough to move. And we, we hadn't had that. Uh, we have a lot of guys that play on the perimeter. So we needed that on the ice. And certainly off the ice, he's a guy with a lot of experience in this league. He's won a Stanley Cup. He's been to another final. And he um, talks a lot in the locker room. We've had a pretty quiet locker room throughout the year. So having him and Brown and Tickenham come in has really altered the chemistry of the team, not only on the ice, but in the locker room. Well, I think in any team when you have a couple guys that have won cups, it, it, uh, I, I think what you end up doing is taking more of a, a long-term view in a sense that you don't get too up, don't get too down during the playoffs. You just kind of keep things a little bit even keel. And uh, I think in the dressing room, that's a big key because whether you have younger players, older players, you all have to stay you know, on the same wave and, and hopefully just ride it all the way to the finals. I think the Capitals are a strong, uh, you know, hard-working team and a team that's got great offensive mobility, especially uh, among the defensive players, and it's got a forward group that, uh, except for a few players like Bond, Jeremy, and Yotes, the rest of us just work very hard. I think the role I'll be playing on the, on the Capitals is uh, someone that's going to grind and battle in front of the net and try and uh, forecheck hard, playing in the low post, coming out and driving the net, looking for deflections and try, trying to create more room for our defense and try our most to handle the puck. One advantage I think we have over other teams is our defense moves the puck very, very well. It's not too often to see a uh, you know a core like that, and that's that's that makes a big difference. And it's going to make it be a faster team, hardworking. Um, I think Ronnie probably wants guys to drive the net a little bit more, but I think it's just a good, solid, hardworking club. Uh, we picked up Jeff Brown uh, primarily to help our power play um, and to add a little bit more size to our defense. Also someone who's got a reputation for playing big uh, in, in tough games 
and also uh, for contributing on power plays. And so far, he's really helped our power play. Brian helps us on the power play. I think he sees ice very well and uh, passes and has a really good shot. Uh, defensively helps us out. I think it just makes our defensive core a little stronger and uh, you know, hopefully we'll, the power play will get up there in the ranks. I played Johnny in Quebec, uh, great power play man, uh, you know, great shot. Uh, he had a lot of offense on the defense, uh, on the defense uh, right now for us and uh, just uh, one of the players where you need uh, going in the playoffs. Well, um, Brownie, when we made the move, uh, moving Sylvan for Brownie, I didn't think there'd be much of a difference five on five. The, the, the net results would be the same, but I thought Brown would do a better job in the power play. Um, He's a real gift back there, really good at moving the puck and seeing players and knowing when to jump in, in out of the play. I don't think there are many players in this business that move the puck better than he does on a power play or shoot it. So he's got that gift that uh, is rare in this business, so uh, he's going to help the power play and that'll win the game. Well, I think it's very important. I think you look at our hockey club and uh, we have experience uh, throughout the lineup and uh, guys that have, uh, have been there before. Uh, because when it gets down to crunch time, it's uh, it's nice to have that to, to fall back on. I think uh, George brought me to Vancouver in 94, and we went to the finals. So when I first spoke with him, he said, let's do it again. So I'm really, I think we have a chance at it. Well, our style of play is very offensive. I think, uh, you know, we have lots of offensive uh, power I guess uh, all our defensemen can skate and move the puck quick and uh, you know so I think that uh, you know when we're skating together and we're moving our feet I think that's uh, that's the key to, to success for us. Well, I'm getting pretty good at fitting in <laughs> pretty quick because uh, I've been bounced around so much but I, I feel pretty comfortable right now I mean it's a pretty easy team to play with and it's an exciting team for me I like to move the puck quick and, and look for the breakaway or the, the, the head manning pass so um, so far, things are, are fitting pretty good. Well, my first impression here is uh, you know, it's a great team. I, I feel like I fit in well and uh, great organization, and beautiful building, and really, uh, really enjoying my time here so far. Wouldn't it be nice if you could put one thing on your to-do list that you really wanted to do? We have just the thing. It's the one thing that can change the way your to-do list looks. Let's face it. There are things in life you have to do, and there are things you want to do. Win money! Powerball from the DC Lottery. With two drawings a week, maybe Powerball should be on your list. Well, Asa Tikkanen, I mean, he's handled two uh, problems for us. One, come in and, and played very well. He's provided another uh, offensive uh, thrust from our forward lines that, uh, that, that we needed. But the most and important and primary role that we brought him in for was his playoff experience and leadership capabilities in the locker room. And also, at the same time, a guy who understands as much as anybody uh, how, what it takes to win a Stanley Cup. Uh, Ace has won five and has played a significant role in the five teams that he's been with when they've won the Stanley Cup. He's not a guy who just happens to be a throw-in, uh, a fourth-line player who played uh, with some good teams. This guy was a solid contributor in Edmonton and in New York, and that's why we brought him in. Five, five rings, you know. Sure, he's going to help us, and uh, he's good defensively as well as offensively. You can use him everywhere, penalty killing, power play. I think you know, it's, it's a good player, and just uh, be happy to have him here. Well, he's a you know he's a Stanley Cup winner uh, four or five times, so it's you know, when you get a guy like that, uh, you know it's a quality player, and he plays hard. He uh, he can play any style. He's, 
he can be a real pest and check down the top line, or he can score big goals for you, and uh, that's what he did for his career, and uh, especially in the playoffs. Come. Tickenen is uh, like a Dale Hunter type of guy. He, he causes a lot of trouble out there. He's going to draw a lot of penalties, hopefully, for us. And uh, and he's also a great uh, offensive uh, offensive player. You know, he can score some goals, set up some nice plays, and uh, I, I think it brings a lot to us. You know, coming in a team who have uh, great players, Adam Oates, uh, Peter Pondra, Joel Tsuno, and, uh, you know, excellent goal tender and uh, good, good defense. So he's got been in a big key in a playoff run. So, you know, that's what we need. When uh, you have a playoff run, you need every player who's uh, will to do with the team everything for they can win. Well, I think uh, it's more European style. They're not putting uh, too many guys. Don't want to put a puck in the corners, and uh, that's a good, good. Uh, you know, sometimes it's a good thing. You know, if most most of teams playing that uh, trap uh, game right now, you wouldn't be crazy. One of the best team in the league playing trap, but uh, you know, can you can break them down in a good stick handle like uh, speed guys like Peter Pondra. You know, you can. Uh, put in two excellent lines and then you can put in two checking lines but uh, right now we had a uh, three four lines who can score a goal so that's a that's a good sign well my goal is got it one more in the time you know I have five fingers full but that's not a hand is empty but every time you know I'm exciting to play the hawk and that's my life uh, same time I think you know so so many years I can play you know I want to win it so many times that San Diego. And I, and I think that's uh, my goal, you know, every time the uh, season starts, I will be, you know, in the dressing room that's San Diego, and, uh, and that's make me excited. Well, Mike, the Eagles nomination for the Masterton is, is a well-deserved. He's uh, a player that's played in the league many, many years, and uh, has always been a player who's basically played one way, and that's hard every night. Uh, he has persevered. Uh, one of those players that every organization likes to have because there's never any belly aching or anything like that. This guy comes to play and does the job for us. Well, Mike's a very special guy. He's been around a long time, played very hard, played through a lot of adversity. Um, you know, he's a guy that uh, his work ethic is unbelievable. He's come back constantly, uh, and he's a guy that you know that will give you every ounce of everything he's got every night. And, uh, you know, you can't say that about everybody. When I think of the Masterton Trophy and being new to Washington, the first thought that comes to mind is Mike Eagles. And especially the type of a season that he's had this year, he's had to be away from his family for most of the season. And he's had to battle injury after injury, and yet he comes to work every day with a smile on his face, great positive attitude, and he's been so positive that the times that he hasn't been able to be in our lineup, we've had him on the bench basically acting as an assistant coach. He's got a future in the game, and I, I think he epitomizes the Masterton Award. Well, the Masterton Trophy is, you know, uh, it's a trophy for guys that have, are uh, dedicated to the sport, and. You know, I think give everything they got, and I think, uh, you know, for me that's, uh, you know, kind of an honor because that's what's I think kept me uh, in the league, you know, over the years. You know, I, I love hockey. That's the big that's the big thing, and I've always tried to uh, give uh, everything I had to, uh, you know, to not only to playing but also to to the team I've been playing for. Well, I've been, a, I've been a role player this year, and when I'm in there, I, I'm basically a checker. You know, I, I help out with uh, penalty killing and uh, maybe get the odd assignment of going against the top player. You know, I'm trying to chip in offensively when I can, but most of the time I'm trying to make sure I do a good job defensively and, and play physical. Well, I think I've been pretty dedicated over the years. You know, I, I try to stay in the... Uh, in top shape and I try to learn you have to try to get better and you try to keep improving over the years and I think that's the big thing is always try to get better don't be you know try not to be satisfied with uh, what you are and try to improve and uh, I think I've done that I, uh, you know obviously sometimes it doesn't 
it doesn't really show up, but uh, I think if you work at it, then you know, it helps keep you around and you try to evolve with the game the way it's, uh, the way it's going. So I've worked at that hard over the years. How does that transcend on the court? 